Hello Internet. Welcome to Jami Giral, a channel dedicated to photography, technology and education. This is Jamil Silva and I'll be your host for this episode. Today I'm going to show you how I transfer the pictures from my camera to my computer. Well, this seems to be very easy, but maybe it could be of great help for some people. And uh, also I'm going to show you the process of all that I use for transferring and uh, a little bit of archiving all those files. Well, first of all, I use Windows, Windows 8. Uh, it's in Portuguese, I don't have this edition in English, so I'm sorry for that. So, let's start. First of all, I have a, a cable. I have already a cable connected uh, from the camera to the computer in a USB 3 port, because if the camera supports the system, the transfer will be faster. And uh, in, in this computer, this PC, uh, I have a card reader but I don't like to uh, withdraw the card and uh, insert in the computer to avoid some uh, damage, uh, uh, misreading or something that can damage the card. So uh, I like to use the cable and transfer the pictures uh, straight from the camera. And uh, you just need to be aware of the, the level of the battery because if the level is too low, maybe, uh, and you have uh, uh, lots of pictures to transfer, maybe the battery will not last until the end of the transfer. So I also uh, uh, tell you to check it out the level of the battery. So le let's start transferring the, the pictures. Uh, actually, it's just one picture. I, I, I took just one picture for this demonstration. Well, let's start by uh, connecting the cable. It's already connected. So let's start turning on the camera. Well, this is the sound uh, emitted by the windows showing that the camera was recognized and you can see here up here if you if you have or if you had the windows 7 this is a little bit different so first of all let's access the windows explorer and I'll, i like to do this in a, in a shortcut the, the windows button and letter e so now we have the the windows here in the left corner we have the name of the camera which is d610 can uh, the nikon d610 so if I click in, the, in here, uh, on the other side, I'll have the, the, the two cards that are available for this camera. But I, I want to come back to the name. I, I don't need this, okay? Let's come back here to the name of the, name of the camera. And I will uh, right-click in the mouse. And I'll have the, the option for importing images and videos. I'm so sorry again because I don't have this Windows in English. I have a, I have a Windows network in, in English, but... Uh, it's so old and slow that uh, you won't be able to, to record the images like this computer. So let's click import images and videos. So the, the computer analyzed the pictures and uh, the videos that you have to be transferred. If this is the first time you do this, uh, the videos and the pictures will be automatically transferred to a paste called videos and or images. So. If you want to, 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 to place them in a specific folder, just like me, because I, everything, everything that enters my computer goes to a place called Downloads, everything, and from that uh, I will organize the files later. So if you click More Options, and here you can say where the pictures will be transferred and also the videos will be transferred once you click Look, search for you will uh, tell the computer the place you want to do that uh, I'm not press ok because it's done if you press ok it, it will start again let's press conceal now import the items now um, before I, I start importing I like to uh, rename the files and I'll always start with the with the year now the month and the day and now I will just write a name for the file. As a matter of demonstration, I'm going to write book and it will rename the files, all the files in the folder for this. Now if I click import, okay. Uh, I don't know if you could see this because it was so fast. I had just one picture in this card. There's an option to delete the picture, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to delete straight from the camera. It's, it's better. 
oh, let's get out of this, let's close this folder and let's turn off the, the, the camera. Okay, camera is off. Now let, let's open Window Explorer again. You press the, 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 the key Windows and E. Now downloads. That's why I like uh, having all my files in this, this folder because everything I have here. So here we have book. Here I have the raw file from this uh, photo, photo, photo shoot and all the others that I had the other days. Uh, here they, they are raw files and they are here because they will be recorded in DVDs and, uh, and then I will send it to my Drobo and things like that. So now I want to, to uh, send this file to uh, Lightroom. I have this thing that I, 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 did, it, I did in here. So let's open Lightroom. Okay. Now Lightroom is open and uh, let's press Ctrl Shift I so that I have the import dialog open for me. Now uh, let's open uh, OS Operational System. At least this, this program is in English. So users, not this part is in English. I'm sorry again. Jamie uh, Geral is my name. And downloads. That's where all everything in my computer goes. And here book. And here I have the file, the picture that I took. So it's gonna copy as DND. So it means that I'm gonna have a copy specific for the Lightroom and another copy here uh, in a file extension straight from the camera. And I will have in my computer a copy in. GNG file and then I will have another copy straight from the camera uh, in a DVD and my Drobo. Okay, now let's start importing. As you can see, copy as DND. Well, I will not rename the files because I already did that. I have my system for renaming the files, but I like to do this. Um, metadata will be copied to, 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 to my picture. Uh, I also like Camera Vivid because I used Camera Vivid in the, in the camera, so I like to match, and besides I like the color. Now I like to write keywords. Once you write keywords, they will follow the picture everywhere you place, place it. So just paste uh, books, okay, it's enough. And now I click import, and uh, okay, just one file is very fast. And here we have the book, if I press D, I will go to develop mode, and then I will start developing the picture the way I, the way I want. So, nice and easy. Now I have a copy of the picture, of this picture in the camera, because I haven't formatted the card yet. I also have a copy in my computer, and I will transfer a copy to Drobo. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I hope this video uh, was very helpful for you. And this is it for now. See you and I hope to see you next time.